Greetings humans, this is your host Altraz, and today I'm coming to you with another episode of Us Looked Lords. We got episode 5 today. Last episode we got Kuruma, making our net worth go up to 975,000. This episode, we got to be way over a million. We want to get two crate warehouses, both of them quite close to the office. That'll make the runs quite smooth and fast. Let's get to it. So like any other episode from the series, we start by doing some headhunters. Killing random people for money. That's what we do. We were having a good time doing it too. That is, until these bloody griefers showed up. Wait for it! Bruh. Screw this, I'm out! There is something I want to shine to light. I'm kind of tired of having an organization called an organization. So, if you cannot think of any other name for an organization other than an organization, I'd like to know a better name for my organization than that. So please, if you got any suggestions, leave it on comments. Because I'm tired of organizing this organization, bro. Also, this grenade launcher is epic. I mean, how else would you be able to see these fantastic car flips? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. So I was trying to run the first setup mission for the prison break heist. Funny enough, six hours later and a lot of people joining and leaving, I finally managed to run the mission for the first try. So, I get all these guys on the Karuma, and I leave them with the Karuma. I grab the plane, I go up to the LSIA airport, I'm just about to land and I think, okay, there is no way these guys are gonna die, they're inside an armored Karuma and there is nothing else to do in the mission. So, obviously I still haven't finished this prep heist. So at this point I thought, yeah. Might as well just go do some grinding solo. I gotta say, since I got the groom in this game, started making a lot more money man. It's just I don't die as easy and I complete a lot more missions a lot more often. And faster. Yeah it's got to one point that I just had to mix it up with it. So I started doing some sightseeing stuff with Headhunter for a while, even though I had to drive a long time for some of them, and I got unlucky, because quite a few times it spawns in the city. But yeah, it was a nice change of pace, that and running crates. Still the same old boring grinding scheme. That's what we live for, innit? At this point in the grind, I managed to acquire the second small warehouse closer to the office for 350,000. That bumped up our asset column to 1,325, but we don't stop there. Though I was getting quite tired, man, so I decided to call for some backup.
But as good as a bodyguard as he is, he did a very good job not getting to me before the griefers did. So yeah, I had to deal with him on my own. But I think it just realized that my power of nubidity is so great, it just overwhelmed him and he committed suicide. I dedicate this win to all your noobs out there who are fighting hard to win your dollars and try and steer clear from the griefers. Nevertheless, we shrug it off and we go back to the business. Now we have our body at our hands. So, there's only one thing left to do. We use our power of extortion and make him work for us. I mean, make him work while we just sit in the office and collect the cargo. We start up the missions. He runs them. That's a pretty good setup. So while my buddy was hard at work collecting the mic crates, I just went downstairs to the pub, had a couple of pints, and came up upstairs again to the office to start up the missions. You know, that's what good friends would do. He proceeded to challenge me for a drag race, as he didn't want to do all the work by himself. So, if I lose, I'd work with him. If I win, I'd keep having drinks while he kept working collecting crates. Turns out I kind of felt sorry for him, making him do all my bidding for, my, for me. So I accidentally threw myself against a tree. I kind of want to leave him a special thanks as if it wasn't for him this video would have taken a lot longer to record and Bruningo, if you're watching this, I thank you. If you're not, then what the f*** are you doing? So we proceeded to do what I thought it was the last sale before we could get the new crate warehouse. Turns out I was quite wrong. My bodyguard decided it would be fun to get the truck stuck in the train line. It turns out it wasn't so much of a good idea. And as if that wasn't enough to prove that he's a great bodyguard. He thought I was in danger inside my own car so he decided to toss me out. It kind of scared me, so I had to run off. This is my time on my we proceeded to do yet another sail mission, and even though he's not the greatest driver, when it comes to killing, I didn't fire a single bullet. I actually didn't quite have a chance to.
So after a long day of grinding, we finally go back to the office. We have enough money now to purchase the crate warehouse. So that's what we do. By the end of it, me and my mate, we actually finished it in good terms. We went back to the strip club, we had a couple of drinks, I bought him a lap dance, he bought me a lap dance, and you probably know where this is going. He woke up the next day in a ditch. Anyway, that's all I got time for today. Stay frosty, humans. I've changed one of the...